If you see the number of advantages and a questionnaire itself, you'll come to know this is the best way to collect the information and the research. All the questions in the questionnaire has to be sequentially arranged and it will be in the same order. Questionnaire ensures anonymity to its respondents. The respondents have greater confidence that their identity cannot be revealed at any cost. Hello everyone, I am Harshita, lecturer, Department of Commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. My dear students, today we are in the 8th session of the subject that is Business Research Method and the unit is Unit 3 Data Collection. So already we have discussed lot of the concepts relating to this particular unit. So let us quickly recall what we have discussed in a previous session. So in a previous session, I have covered this important topic that is designing the questionnaire or steps in drafting the questionnaire. So what are the various steps which are involved in drafting a questionnaire? Now you know about questionnaire. So what do you mean by questionnaire? So questionnaire will be distributed to the respondents which contains a set of questions relating to a particular topic that is research topic which will be designed by the researcher. So that is known as questionnaire and we have discussed how to design a questionnaire. What are the various process which are involved in designing a questionnaire. And we have learnt about the meaning, its characteristics, so how the questionnaire will be and we have learnt about how to design the questionnaire also. In today's session, we shall continue with new topic that is advantages of questionnaire. Now what, how the questionnaire will play a very important role in the research activity. So that we can learn today that is advantages as well as disadvantages of questionnaire. The important advantages of questionnaire are given below. So I have given a list of advantages here. So we shall discuss each and every point in detail one by one. So the first one is economical. Second one is wider coverage. Third one is rapid replies. Fourth one is suitable to obtain special type of response. Next fifth one is repetitive information or data. An easy and simple method, less pressure on respondents and the eighth advantage is uniformity. Ninth one is useful preliminary instrument. Tenth one is greater validity. Eleventh one is anonymity and twelfth one is flexible tool. So these are the advantages of questionnaire. So let us discuss each and every point in detail how this questionnaire is advantageous to the researcher as well as the respondent. Now coming to the first advantage, it is economical. Now why questionnaire is economical in nature? It is economical way of collecting the information from the target group. So here target group means what? Target group means respondents. Now who is the respondent? The individual or the organization from where the researcher will collect the information. So it is the most economical method to collect the information from the respondent. It is convenient both for the researcher as well as the respondent. So it is both or it is helpful for both the researcher, one who prepares the questionnaire. At the same time it is helpful for respondents also. It saves the time of both the respondent as well as the researcher. So when compared to other type of or other sources of collecting the data, questionnaire is an easy method where it is very less, less time consuming both from the point of researcher as well as respondent. And if you compare the cost also, now why it is economical? Because time consuming is less, at the same time cost is also less. The cost involved in conducting the research through questionnaire will be low. Now the cost or the cost which is involved to collect the data through questionnaire or when compared to other sources, the questionnaire cost is too low. There is no need to visit the doorstep of each and every individual personally. Now like personal interview, they need not visit each and every person inter 
individually because there are other methods also like telephone interview or mail interview or panel interview. So here the researcher keeping that questionnaire, he did not visit each and every person's doorstep to collect the information. Therefore, it is said to an economical way of conducting research. So why it is called as an economical way of conducting research? And if you see the research activity, most of the researcher will use this questionnaire. Now, why it is? The reason is that it is more economical because it is less consuming. At the same time, it is less costly also. And it is helpful for both researcher as well as respondents to collect the data. Next one is wider coverage. Now, if you see a questionnaire, so if you are going to collect the information through personal interview where you are communicating with that person, that is with the respondent and collecting the information, what happens? So you have to go individually to each and every person. But in case of questionnaire, there are various types of questionnaire. So it may be questionnaire which can be issued through mail or the questionnaire which can be asked in the form of telephone interviews or through panel interviews. In such cases, what happens? You can cover the wide area. So if you see about the mail interview or the mail questionnaire which has been sent through mail to each and every respondent. So sitting at one place, so you will send that questionnaire. At the same time sitting at that place only, you will collect the mail. So it is probably the convenient method of collecting the required data when compared to other methods such as interview or observation. Now what happens in case of interview as well as observation? Interview, they are going to speak about personal interview. Now, if the researcher wants to collect the data, what he has to do? He has to visit that respondent personally, interview him and collect the information. And in case of observation also, so, the researcher has to go to the place of respondent, have to observe them and collect the information. But in case of interview, this will not happen. So, it is very convenient as well as a easy method when compared to observation as well as personal interview. It facilitates collecting the information nationwide and even from the international sources. So, here the researcher can collect the information through questionnaire from the nationwide that is all over the world and from all other sources also that is international sources. Questionnaire helps to reach those places where it is not possible to access personally easily. Now if the researcher cannot meet each and every individual and collect the information in such cases he can go for questionnaire. It can cover target members at the same time both internally and outside the nation. Suppose if you think about the mail questionnaire, so if the mail is sent to all the respondents simultaneously, it will be sent to all the respondents and easy collection of data takes place. So if you take about the personal interview where the respondents are located outside the country, what happens? So he has to go outside the country and collect the information, very difficult task. But in case of questionnaire, he can directly mail the questionnaire and collect the information. The researcher need not appoint large number of personnel to collect the information from the respondent spread across the country or globally. Now, in case of researcher also, he need not appoint specialized person to collect the information like personal interview. So, if the researcher can't go personally, what happens? He will interview or he will appoint some other person to conduct the interview. And that too, he should be a skilled person who will be able to communicate with the respondents personally and collect the information. But in case of this questionnaire, this will not happen. He need not appoint a specialized person in order to collect the information. Next, third advantage is that rapid replies. So when compared to other type of sources of collecting the data, in questionnaire, we can get the replies very soon. The researcher is able to collect the replies rapidly from a large number of respondents because simultaneously all the questionnaires will be distributed and it will be collected or the information can be collected very soon. 
In this method, the researcher need not visit the localities of the respondents to obtain their feedback. So they need not visit the localities. So suppose if they are going personally, for example, if the researcher wants to collect information from the company, then he can visit the company once, he will distribute the questionnaire to all the respondents and he can come back. But in case of personal interview, what happens? If you want the same information, what is there in the questionnaire? Individually, he has to communicate with the respondent. But this will not happen. He will just distribute the questionnaire. He will come back. And on the date of collecting the questionnaire, he will go to the respondent. He will collect the questionnaire back. So that happens under this questionnaire. So it is very easy to collect the information. Questionnaire can be sent by mail, email, WhatsApp or by any other means. So through these means also they can send the questionnaire and collect the information. Field questionnaire can be received back through the same means. Suppose if the questionnaire is sent through mail. So from the mail itself they will receive the questionnaire. Therefore it is easy, speed up, less costly and convenient also. So when compared to other sources of collecting the data, it is very easy, simple as well as less costly as well as less consuming means of collecting the data. So questionnaire are good medium to collect the information much speeder than interview and other methods. So this can be easily understood here. So when compared to interview, questionnaire method is very easy as well as less time consuming. Now coming to the next advantage, suitable to obtain special type of response. Now there are certain respondents who doesn't want to share their personal things that is personal information. In such cases through this questionnaire they will express their personal things which may be helpful for the researcher. The information about certain personal or secret matters can be best obtained through questionnaire method. For example, information relating to their marital status, their age may be or the secret desires, income level of the respondents etc. can be shared by the respondents through questionnaire method. But in case of personal interview, if you ask them their personal things, they may hesitate to answer the personal questions. In such cases, questionnaire will be suitable. But it's not that unnecessary personal things cannot be asked here. Only the necessary personal things can be asked through questionnaire method. Next one is repetitive information or data. So let us see how this questionnaire will lead to repetitive information or data. So when compared to other methods such as schedule, interview, observation etc. The questionnaire method is considered as more useful, cheap where the repetitive information can be collected at a regular interval. Suppose if the researcher have prepared a questionnaire with a set of 15 questions. Now for one month he has distributed to the respondents. Now for the same question he want the repetitive answer. That is the same type of answer after one month he can distribute that and collect the information. But this will not happen in case of personal interview. Because again personally they want to meet them and they want to collect the information. But in case of this questionnaire, so suppose they have collected once, they can collect number of times if the respondent agrees. So that is about repetitive collection of information or data. Next advantage is that an easy and simple method. So if you see the number of advantages and a questionnaire itself, you will come to know this is the best way to collect the information and the research. So questionnaire can be designed easily. It is easy to manage while collecting the data because all the questions in the questionnaire will be in the same sequence. So while interpreting as well as analyzing also for researcher, it will be a easy task. So questionnaire can be designed easily. It is easy to manage while collecting the data. It does not require too much technical skill or knowledge to administer. So like any other type of sources of collecting the data here while drafting the questionnaire he has to be careful but while collecting he will just distribute that questionnaire to the respondent. So no technical information is required for the researcher during that period. That is easy and simple method.
And the next advantage is less pressure on respondents. So it puts less pressure on respondents as the respondents can conveniently fill and submit the researcher. Now what happens in case of personal interview or in case of telephone interview? Suppose if the researcher is going to ask the question to the respondents, here the respondent has to be prepared with the answer. So immediately he has to answer the question. But in case of this questionnaire, so it will be distributed and at the same time the researcher will give some time to the respondent to answer those questions. So he can take his own time, he can think properly and conveniently he can answer those questions. But this will not happen in case of personal interview or in case of telephone interview where the spontaneous answer is required. But here they can conveniently fill the questionnaire and submit the questionnaire. So respondents can answer whenever they feel free. So, whenever they feel free, they can think and answer those questions. On the other hand, in case of interview or observation, meeting of the respondent pre-necessitates fixed timing and situation. But in case of personal interview or in case of telephone interview, the researcher will fix the time, they will call the respondents and the respondents have to answer in that particular time itself. But this will not happen in case of questionnaire. So most of the researcher will follow the questionnaire method. Next one is uniformity. So I have already told you all the questions in the questionnaire has to be sequentially arranged and it will be in the same order. So one questionnaire will not be different from that of another. So what happens here there occurs a uniformity. So it helps the researcher to analyze as well as interpret at the end of the research activity. So questionnaire are in the written form, they contain the uniform or standardized information or instructions. Thus responsible or the respondents receive standardized instruction during filling the questionnaire. So you have seen how the questionnaire should be, how to prepare a questionnaire. A cover letter has to be given along with the questions. Now what do you mean by cover letter? So here it contains all the details about the researcher, what is the purpose, what is the necessity to collect the information from the respondent, what is the duration of his research work, everything will be recorded in that cover letter. So that the respondent will have a better knowledge about what the activity the researcher is going to do. So each and every details will be there in the questionnaire itself. So thereby and at the same time the questions are sequentially framed and one questionnaire will be similar to other type of questionnaire so that there leads to uniformity in the questions. So that is about one of the advantage that is uniformity. Next one useful preliminary instrument. So questionnaires may be based or used for preliminary instruments for conducting the depth study laid on any other method. So it leads to conducting of depth study because in questionnaire so they can give a number of questions where general questions will also be given at the same time relating to that topic where depth questions can also be given so that the respondents will give in-depth knowledge or in-depth information about that particular topic. Next greater validity. So questionnaires have some unique features as regards validity of information. However, this kind of merit is not found in interview as well as observation method. So when compared to observation as well as interview method and a questionnaire there is greater validity. That is the reliability of the collected data under interview and observation depends upon how intelligently the researcher has interacted and obtained the data from the respondents. Now if you see about observation as well as personal interview. Now how effective the information will be? It depends upon how effectively the researcher has conducted the interview. But this will not happen in case of questionnaire. While drafting the questionnaire, the researcher has to be careful. 
But once he has drafted the questionnaire, randomly it will be distributed to the respondents and respondents will fill the answers. So here the duty of the researcher is quite less because in case of personal interview or in case of other type of that is observation method, they need not observe or meet personally and collect the information and the effectiveness of communication will not be there under questionnaire method. So how he is going to frame the sentence? What are the questions which are included? So on the basis of that, the respondents will answer the question. Here the researcher may show some bias where in case of questionnaire method, bias cannot be possible. Here under this observation or under personal interview method, there may be a chances that the researcher may show some bias against respondents. But this will not happen in case of questionnaire method. That is creating validity or greater validity in questionnaire. Next one is anonymity. Now what do you mean by anonymity? Questionnaire ensures anonymity to its respondents. The respondents have greater confidence that their identity cannot be revealed at any cost. Because through questionnaire, I have told you, their personal details can also be filled very easily. Uh, but through communication, they cannot do that. So this will happen in case of this questionnaire where the researcher will or the respondents will have more confidence that the researcher will not reveal their personal information. They feel more comfortable and free to express their view under this method. Here they will express their view more independently than in case of communication method. Next one is flexible tool. So questionnaire is the most flexible tool. Flexible means what? Depending upon the situations, it can be changed. So questionnaire is the most flexible tool for data collection. It is convenient to collect both qualitative as well as quantitative data by using the questionnaire. So they can collect both quantitative as well as qualitative data. Now what do you mean by quantitative data? The data which is collected through statistical or mathematical tools. They are termed as what? Quantitative data and what do you mean by qualitative data that is through personally they are going to collect the information they are known as qualitative data so questionnaire here personally they can contact the respondents distribute the questionnaire and come back and collect later through quantitative also they can collect the data so these are the few advantages of questionnaire now coming to the disadvantages, although questionnaire is not free from limitations or disadvantages. It might be having number of advantages at the same time there is some disadvantages of questionnaire also. Although questionnaires are considered a useful tool for data collection, they are not without defects. Such defects are. So let us see what are the disadvantages here. So the first one is limited response. Second one is fail to cover busy person. Third one is lazy and indifferent person. Lack of personal contact. Poor response. Unreliable response. Illegibility. Incomplete entries. Manipulated answers. Not useful for in-depth studies. So let us discuss one by one what are its disadvantages. So if you know the point itself, you will come to know. So if you think about the questionnaire. So how advantageous it is at the same time, how disadvantageous it is. So the first point is limited response. Now why it is limited response? So there may be a chances that the questionnaire which is distributed to the respondents, all the questions might not be answered by the respondents. In such cases, the researcher will not get the full information. So let us see why it is disadvantageous here. Questionnaire can be sent only to such respondents who have good education. So, because it will be in the form of writing, so questionnaire will be in the form of writing. So, questionnaire can be filled by those persons who are well educated. So, questionnaire can be sent only to those respondents who have good education. Questionnaire can neither be used to illiterates nor for semi-illiterate person because they want to know or they have to read the questions. They have to read the answers also. That is the options. Then only they can answer the question. So thus scope of the questionnaire is 
in collecting the data is narrow as well as limited. So why it is a disadvantage, why we get only limited response because in questionnaire method what happens it is suitable for those respondents who are well educated and who are able to read the questions along with the options then only they can answer the questionnaire. So illiterate people or semi illiterate people cannot or this system does not hold goods with illiterate or semi illiterate respondents. Next one is fail to cover busy persons. So since it is a form of writing. So in communication method also there may be a chances that busy people may not respond to the researcher. So here also what happens suppose the researcher have given the questionnaire to the respondent but due to busy schedule the respondent might not have answered those questions. In such cases what happens so here the information what the researcher is going to collect it will be a waste for them because after preparing so much of questionnaire and if the respondents does not cooperate with them so it is a loss for the researcher. So some person are always busy with their schedule they rarely get good amount of time. So if they are busy then it is very difficult for them even if then get a little bit of time they may neglect to answer the questionnaire due to their disinterest. Suppose if they get time also so if they don't have interest to fill the questionnaire then they will not fill the questionnaire. Therefore questionnaire method of data collection cannot be applied to person with busy schedule. So those persons or the, those individuals who are busy so giving questionnaire for them is a waste. Next one is lazy and indifferent persons. So those respondents there are certain respondents who, are, who will be lazy or who will be indifferent to answer those questions. So questionnaires fail to obtain good amount of information from lazy as well as indifferent respondents. They have no sincerity, devotion and commitment to fill up the contents of the questionnaire. So if the persons or if the respondents are very lazy to answer the questionnaire, so it is also one of the disadvantage because the researcher will not get the sufficient information. Next one is lack of personal contact. Of course I have told you through questionnaire there will be less personal contact. So let us see why it is a disadvantage here. Yeah? In case of questionnaire, the researcher cannot meet all the respondents face to face. Suppose they are going to issue the questionnaire in an institution, they go to the institution, they will supply the questionnaire and they will come back. And if the questionnaire is sent to mail, then what happens? There is no face to face contact. So here through questionnaire, they will not come to know the personal attitude as well as the behavior of the respondents, which will happen to personal interview. So he is not able to build personal relationship with the respondent. Here the researcher cannot build the personal relationship with the respondent. If the respondent fail to understand the sequence of questions, so if we don't know what is the sequence of questions, there is no one to clarify the technicability of the terms. So if the respondent is having any problem in understanding the questions and if he has any doubt, there is no person to clear his doubt. But in case of personal interview, if we don't understand the question once, he can directly ask the researcher. But this will not happen in case of this questionnaire. Thus questionnaire failed to gather expected information. So for that reason here under questionnaire it finds difficult for the researcher to collect the information. Next one is poor response. So in case of mailed questionnaire method the proportion of returns will be lesser. So the researcher might have mailed the respondent but the respondent might not have returned to the researcher. The factors which contribute for poor response will be the layout of the questionnaire, its size, the organization of conducting the research work, the nature of appeal, the kind of respondents selected for the research. So due to such reason, there may be number of reason where the respondent might not have written the questionnaire back. Next one is unreliable response. So let us see why it is unreliable response. 
the information collected through questionnaire method is not totally reliable. So we cannot tell that 100% whatever the information which is given by the respondent is 100% correct. So it is not sure that concerned respondent have received and filled the content. In addition, if the subject and the study is not well understood by the respondent, they may not produce good feedback. Now what happens? So I have told you here, the main thing between the researcher as well as respondent is that the researcher has to make those questions which can be understood by the respondent. Suppose if the respondent does not understood the question, then there is no other person to clarify his doubt. So he will give the answer as per his wish as per how he has understood the question. So thereby, if the respondent have understood the question in a different manner, then what happens? Whatever the answer which is given by him, it also becomes wrong. So unreliable means what? Whatever the information which is given by the respondent, we can't tell that it is 100% correct. There may be a chances of wrong information also. Next one is, eligibility. So what do you mean by that? Here the respondent is going to write the answer and send the questionnaire back. So what happens? Suppose it is a mail or any other thing. So it will be in the type form. Of course it will be legible. But if it is going to write then it leads to illegibility of the questionnaire. Sometimes many respondent do not have good handwriting. So in such a case, they may write the opinion in non-understandable st style. So it's not that all the person's handwriting has to be good. So in such cases, if the respondent's handwriting is not good or if it is illegible in nature, then what happens? Whatever the answer which is given by him, it will be a waste. Sometimes the respondent erase and overwrite too much. These things create many difficulties in reading and understanding the writings of respondents. So it should be as legible as possible. At the same time, it should be very neat also because this information plays a very important role for the researcher in conducting his research activity. Next one is incomplete records. So I have already told you there may be a chances that there are many respondents who will not fill the questionnaire properly. So they will leave or they will leave some questions and they will return it back. In such cases what happens it leads to incomplete entries in the questionnaire. Respondents may not write answers to all the questions appearing in the questionnaire. Some questions are left unanswered. So there are chances that respondents might not have answered all the questions. They might have left few of the questions to be answered. So this kind of limitation is quite common in case of questionnaire are sent through mail. So this I have already told you if the questions are sent through mail. So there are lazy respondents who may not answer those questions or only half they will answer half the questions will be like that only. So it will be difficult for the researcher. In addition, the problem of language, use of abbreviations and use of ambiguous answers etc. leads questionnaire to become incomplete. It's not that due to lazy only they are not going to answer. Suppose if the respondents have not understood the question, in such cases also they will leave that question blank. So that also happens in case of questionnaire, that is incomplete entries. Next one is manipulated answers. So let us see why they give the manipulated answer. So in case of interview, the researcher interacts with the respondents directly. He can judge the respondent, his behavior, his level of understanding of the research topic, etc. Now through this personal interview or here through interview, or through observation method here the researcher will come to know how the respondent is, how much he know about the topic, what is the behavior, what is the attitude of the respondent. But through this questionnaire it is highly impossible. Then he conducts interview and get good response whereas in case of questionnaire method these benefits are not available to the researcher because here the researcher is not going to contact the respondent personally while collecting the information. Questionnaires are filled by respondents according to their perception of research content. Now how they are going to fill the questionnaire? According to their knowledge they are going to fill the questionnaire. 
Thus, information obtained from the respondent through questionnaire is not without manipulations. So, it is not without manipulations because here the researcher will not come to know their attitude as well as behavior. Researcher is not knowing what the knowledge the respondent has about that particular topic. There may be a certain assumptions which is made by the respondent while filling the questionnaire. So, it may goes wrong sometimes. Next, not useful for in-depth studies. So, this questionnaire method is not suitable for in-depth studies because whatever the question which is there in the questionnaire, for that the respondent is going to answer. So, they are not going in in-depth. Suppose in case of personal interview, if the researcher has some doubt about the answer what is given by the respondent, so he can ask those doubts and clear it from the respondent. But this will not happen in case of this questionnaire. So in questionnaire method, it is not possible to conduct an intensive or in-depth study. So it is not possible here because they can't ask the reverse question of the feelings or reactions of the respondents. All these requires a healthy interaction with the respondents. So when they want to know the respondents well, then they should have a healthy communication. But this will not happen in case of questionnaire method. The researcher is not present in the field. Therefore, nothing can be done to build a good support from the respondent. So here, there will not be a good relationship between the researcher as well as respondent. So thereby, the communication will also not happen here. That is to questionnaire. Only they are just filling the questionnaire and sending it back. So personal communications or any other communications will not happen in case of questionnaire method. So, these are the few disadvantages of questionnaire. So, in my next session, I am going to discuss about the next topic that is qualitative techniques of data collection and we shall discuss a simple topic that is measurement. So, my dear students, hope you all understood today's session. See you all in my next session with a new topic. Till then, take care. Thank you.